Welcome to what's left of Longtail Island. Looks like the water's come up a bit. Stole David's boat out here on Rumblebee today. Filling her out. We're gonna go over Rumblebee here from tail to nose. And we have a mud skipper. 16 to 23 horsepower kit uh, with the, the 100 110 inch shaft with a nine and a half inch uh, propeller we have a predator 670 with the air filter adapter uh, David removed the start panel uh, to an easy toggle switch start. Tachometer. Foldable tiller hand, handle, also available through Mudskipper. It's very convenient. Folds up right there. Nice and easy. We have the loop exhaust from Robertson's Torque Tubes. This thing's pretty nasty. It used to have the muffler on it but the uh, muffler fell off on us around the water. So I have to say, it makes pretty good power, but I would go back to the muffler. It's a little loud. David runs three batteries on this boat. Open this guy up. So, fuel tank there, he has two uh, circuit breakers to turn the power on and off. His boat likes the weight in the rear of it on this 15 foot bass tracker hole. So uh, that's where he puts his batteries at. Because he's on a 72 volt system uh, for that trolling motor up there. He's got... cooler to match his boat cold bastard coolers matching grip tape for his handle he also has his tether for the long tip and the tether goes right there Got a nice gimbal, uh, cup holder, phone holder, and rod holders going down the side. And then additional storage space into there. So he runs all of his wiring uh, to a switch panel here. Here he has his charging port. We have the bilge pump. Driving lights. So when he's out there at night, he can do the night missions. On the inside, he has his cabin lights. In the center here, Got his live well. Coming up here, we have a 101 thrust trolling motor. This thing is pretty strong. It can actually take you upriver when you need it to. Recessed trolling motor panel with the matching hydro turf. For his anchor system, slash winch system uh, he put a trailer winch to an anchor uh, which is pretty convenient uh, no wires no remotes to lose and he can pretty much crank himself 
up and over uh, something stuck pretty easily if you needed to. And then it's also convenient uh, to put back into your boat with the anchor. Looks like Longtail Island almost got washed away. But not quite. Looks like everything's still here. So, this is David's 15 foot bass tractor. With a V-twin on a mud skipper long tail. However, something about this engine on his boat will change here very shortly. So stay tuned. <laughs> 